Oh, hello! Tonight, we will be sharing the story of the House of Atreus. A family so early in Greek mythology that they were actually able to fraternize with gods. Tonight's story begins with a dinner prepared for the gods by the patriarch of the Atreus family, Tantalus, who had a more than surprising secret ingredient in the soup. Welcome you to my dinner. What are we having today, Tantalus? It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. It's my world famous soup. Oh my Zeus, I'm stuck. Demeter, no! It's made of boy! Tantalus? What? Tantalus? Yeah. Tantalus? What? Did you chop up your son and put him in the soup and try to feed it to us? Sorry. You idiot! Did you think you could fool us? We are literally gods! After the gods had found out that Tantalus tried to feed him his own children, they were less than pleased. They banished him. Eternally punished him by being just out of reach of food and water for eternity. However, the gods were able to put Hunkety Dunkety back together again. But since Demeter had eaten his shoulder, they had to replace his one shoulder with ivory. Uh, I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. I'm an idiot. Why did I try to feed my kids to the gods? <laughs> ah. You know what? I don't need that. I'm drink. <laughs> Need the drink either. Yeah, and they want to come tomorrow. Thanks for putting me back together, boys. I resent that. Hey, no problem, my son. It wasn't easy, but we got it done because uh, Demeter over there ate your shoulder. But it'll be alright. We had to replace it with ivory, though. But it looks nice. It looks nice. I think it looks super. <laughs> After Pelops was all put back together again, he decided that he should need a bride. He fancied a dame by the name of Hippodemia. However, nothing in mythology is simple. So he first must beat her father, Animaeus, in a chariot race. Two things could happen. One, he could win, and Hippodemia would be his bride. Or two, he would be put to death. Tell me I look pretty cut. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Too bad my dad's gonna kill you and all. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, my dad kills all boys who like me. See, he like likes me. Pelops goes through a serious training session for the race. But once he came to the realization that he had realized that he was not prepared to race Animaeus, he realizes that he must bribe the charioteer of Animaeus murderless. He asks him to replace the linchpins on the chariot with wax ones. In order to ensure that Myrtilus has done this task, Pelops promises him the first night of their marriage with Hippodemia. Myrtilus, can you do me a huge favor, please? I don't know, man. The kings have been asking me to do pretty messed up things before. What do you want? Can you please take the linchpins off Animaeus' chariot? So, and replace them with wax, so I can marry that hot princess, Hippodemia. And uh, in return, you can hang out with her on the first night of our marriage. Balloon. <laughs> well, she's pretty good looking. Okay, I will. I'm gonna win this one for you, babe. Good luck.
bastard! Hey. Ah. Go, driver. Go, go! Bastard. We got this! We got it! We ah, we're so close! Ah. Oh, Hey man, what are you looking at? It's my wife. I thought you said I could spend hey, a night with her. A lot, okay? Pelops goes back to rule this kingdom, since the curse had not affected him. However, the curse does affect his sons, Atreus and Thiestes. We had come to the Oracle to find out who should rule, me or my brother Thyestes. Just so y'all know, my brother is O.D. stupid. As long as the Red Baron pizza is baked in an oven, not the microwave, the son of Pelops will enjoy the pizza greatly. What's that even mean? Seriously. Fool, you must be outside your mind! This prophecy is low-key easy! It means one of us is gonna get the pipped out go to fleece! <laughs> The one who gets the golden ram wins the crown! He me, he mighty moo, catch the tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one, and ages, you are it. Here you go, buddy. Ha! I'm king now. In your face. Thyestes, Thyestes, how does it feel for your brother to be king? He thinks he's king. I'll show him. His wife is one fine, fine lady. Mm-mm. Yo. I'm about to go snuggle with a rope. Hey, uh, you're a rope. Uh, I'm not a rope. What? I'm a rope. Oh. So, uh, now that we snuggle, you gonna go get the golden ram for me, right? Yes, Thyestes, I'll go get the golden ram for you a million times. Aha! Excellent. What the? Haha, <laughs> Atreus, screw you. Leave, leave. Atreus, 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 how does it feel now that your brother's king and your wife cheated on you? I don't know. She snuggled with him. What do I do? I'm going to go into exile. It's a sad day for Atreus, folks. Atreus, oh my Zeus, you're Zeus. You know, your brother really was a turd. He deserved to be king. So since I'm a god, you'll have your kingdom back. And you can do to Thyestes what Tangelus did to us. Woo! <laughs> Thyestes, I know I've been a really bad brother. I want to get up to you. Please come to my feast tonight. Dang, alright. But, uh, will there be pudding? Because I'll only go if there's pudding. There will be pudding. Alright, let's go pudding! <laughs> Here you go. Dinner is served, my dear brother. Pudding! Yay! Holy crap, what is that? Oh my god, it's my sons! My baby boys! No! Curse you, Atreus! Paris stole Helen, and Menelaus asked Agamemnon to wage war with him. Agamemnon only got as far as Aulus. Why can't I sail to Troy? Why? Well, if you want to go to Troy, you must sacrifice something for me, since you killed my sacred deer. Your daughter may suffice. If a Janiah, daddy has a husband for you. Dad, is it Achilles? Please let it be Achilles! When Clytemnestra finds out what Agamemnon has done, she is murderous. She begins a ten-year plot to kill Agamemnon. Goodness, I hate him so much. What the Hades is wrong with him? Why would he do that? He's so stupid. Hey, girl. Can I have your number? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it? Can I have it? Maybe if we hook up, then Agamemnon will be mad, and he'll die, or burn, or suffocate, or drown. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Did you miss me? Because I didn't miss you. I have Cassandra. Baby, sweetheart, darling, I missed you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love no, you. No, you're going to die. No, let me draw a nice bath for you, sweetheart. Go no. get the bath. 
They're going to die. No, get in the so bath. Get in the bath. Funny, you too. Get in the bath too, sweetheart. Oh my god. I told you she does. <laughs> So does this mean I'm gay? Yeah. Orestes realizes his heritage and vows to help Electra avenge the death of their father. Orestes, Orestes. What is it, my loyal plebe? I have news that will shatter your whole perspective on life. What is it? I just saved a ton of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. I used State Farm, you plebe. Get out of here. What a mediocre day to be king. Arrestees, arrestees. What is it? I'm pouring you share with you today. Fine, get out. Huh? No, seriously, bro, you need to hear this. All right, what is it? Your father is actually Agamemnon, who's the great Greek soldier who fought in the Trojan 10 year war. But as before he left, he kidnapped Cassandra, a war spoil. And he already had a wife woman named Clytemestra. And Clytemestra was already planning to kill him, but when she found out that he had a war spoil, he killed them both. And now, that makes you the Mycenaean kingdom, the heir to the Mycenaean kingdom. How do you know all this? Uh, I googled it and looked it up on Wikipedia. I must go to the oracle for confirmation. <laughs> oracle! 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 What should I do? Oh, well, you go avenge your father's death and comfort your sister who is in love with your father. She's very upset. That's so gross! Oh, you could also kill your mom's lover, too, because he's going to try to steal your control. Orestes. Mom killed my one and only soulmate. My perfect father, whom I love so much. He was the light of my life, even though I've never even met him before. He's so handsome. Kill her. I guess this too. She made daddy angry. Wow. <laughs> yes, you need to find Clytemnestra and Aegisthus. Should be around here somewhere. All right, I'll go kill them. Thank you. Hey man, you're my stepdad, right? Who are you? Well, obviously, I'm your stepson. So, according to Greek tradition, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, the word of a ghost is good to get It's okay. Mommy's gonna get decapitated <laughs> too, so you guys can be good to decapitated idiots together. Well, I'm glad I didn't grow up with that piece of work. It's spicy. <laughs> Look, Orestes, it's our evil dog of a mother. Let's kill her. <laughs> Fuckers! For those of you in the audience that don't know, the Furies do not take kindly to matricide. Orestes, Orestes, my, you've been mad. Do what you must, sisters, make him go mad. You can't be laughing. You can't say sorry after you. <laughs> She's like. <laughs>